Mr. Frags here from ArmageddonGaming.com, and this is a Dante's Inferno Infernal walkthrough for NextGenWalkthroughs.com. So now we're gonna get magic. Magic is gonna save us through this game once we get a certain spell called Divine Armor, which is also up the Holy Tree. So we're going to buy our first upgrade here. This is a spell that uh, if you hold B down, it just does a lot more damage. And when we upgrade it, it's going to give us more range. And then there's going to be some dialogue with the poet, and he's going to give you that, uh, that spell. And we're going to save it because the next guy we fight is the guy we want to use it on. So... You're going to learn to really hate these bat guys because they can almost hit you no matter what unless you're absolving or punishing somebody. So the best way I found to take those guys out is to jump and press R near them and it'll slam them on the ground like that. And as always, we're just going to absolve these guys. If you don't absolve guys like this, which is also another reason why we're doing it, you won't rank up your either holy tree or unholy tree. And that'll prevent you from getting the later spells in the game or later damage upgrades in the game and if you don't have those you are not going to make it through the end of this game so now we got to fight this big guy here he takes a little while to kill he's got a decent amount of health um, he has two attacks he's just either going to slam the ground like that or stomp his foot both are incredibly easy to evade just evade him and then run up to him and start smacking on him uh, you can keep your distance and use your cross like this, but it'll take forever, so I find it best to run up to him and use a bunch of light attacks on him when he's on the ground like that. You can use your magic here, like I do, it does a lot more damage. It's not necessary, but it just speeds up this process. We also have Retribution, which is in the bottom left corner. And when that bar is full, it just unre unleashes like a barrage of attacks it's still you controlling it but it just increases the damage of your attacks and speed just by a ton we don't use it here because it's not really worth it you really want to save it for the later fights because it does take some time to recharge so you don't want to get caught without it at a time where you really want it I mostly save it for boss fights. The only time I'll use it in a regular fight is if I'm timed or if, I, if I'm having trouble. There's an enemy in the later levels called Heretics. You're going to learn to really hate them, so that's some of the guys I use it on. Each level has its own enemy that's level specific that you'll meet in that level, but you'll see them in the rest of the game. And some of them, like the one we meet in level 3, Three, which is lust are gonna be on your bad list you are really just not gonna like them the heretics another one uh, that's really the only two I have problems with we're gonna face a glutton which are really kind of easy the lust ladies can be killed easily when we start upgrading our cross so after you hit this guy so much, a right trigger will come up, and it'll always be the same pattern you gotta press. It'll be X, Y, then B, or square, triangle, circle for the PlayStation 3. And now that we cut that guy in half, which is a little brutally unnecessary, I have found it's near impossible to die on this guy, so just go to town. So now you just run around pressing your usual attacks. It's the same controls as Dante, X is lead attacks, B does fire breath, which Dante doesn't have, but it's the equivalent of his range attack, and Y does a heavy attack, which is a stomp. So this is really just a part for fun. Once everybody's dead, it'll signal you to go to the door and just mash B to open it. And that's about it. Check back at nextgenwalkthroughs.com or armageddongaming.com for more Dante's Inferno videos and much more.